excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. All right, so here we are back in one of America's most underrated sports cities. Good to have you with us from Houston, Texas tonight inside Toyota Center. And this is the site of one of your biggest and, and I know most signature wins of your career against Gus back in 2015. One of the biggest fights of my life was when I beat Alexander Gustafson at UFC 192 when I retained my championship. One of the hardest fights of my entire life. The Toyota Center is a great fighter. Man. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. His misses are entertaining. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Gedalia going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, big punch lands. He lands the kick to the body there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, head kick blocked by Choi. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, knee to the head. That never feels good. Big punch lands through the middle. Trying to establish that jab once again. Three minutes to go here, round one. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Four strikes to the head. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lands flush with that right hand. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, a huge block there. Got the single collar tie. He landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, that's a good strike there by Choi. Kick to the body by Gedalia. Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice right hand. One, two there by Gedalia. Give me a double leg. Give me a double leg. Look at it. Look at it. Choi's strike attempt there is blocked. Very tricky when he throws that body. Effective punch there by Gedalia. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Choi. Cadelia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he gets the 
takes out late in the round here. Able to land with the left hand. 30 seconds to go. Wow, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Ooh, big shot land. Right, engage in a single collar tie. Straight right hand now just misses. Yeah, left hook found its target. Now connects with the right. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. High-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. And how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head. And Largely, that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice job by him to get the need of the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him behind the shin. It's his own body with that body kick. Switching stances here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big kick lands. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Big punch lands over. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the game. Three minutes and change to go in round two. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. This opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough. Anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go. I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Elbow kick. to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Gedalia. Here's where we push. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Swing and a big miss by Short. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice punch, Lance. 
Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Jiggy kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Straight punch lands. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Able to land with the left hand there. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. And that's the end of round number two. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not bad. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice straight punch. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many, you gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch landed with so much power. It's the elbow there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. There it is. Take the shot. Down. Take the shot. There it is. <laughs> Big kick lands. Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big knee lands to the body. And they separate. Nice job of hiding that head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh! He just stopped up in the finish now. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from this off here by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Back and forth we go here! Nice.
Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, straight to the body by Cadell. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it... Beautiful level change, leads to the take -off. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Nice punch by Gedalia. Choi's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help when he's going to throw a knee. Well placed knee to the body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Takes him down. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, nice punch there by Gedalia. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice strike. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Gedalia gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh! Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Single 
collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just over two minutes now to go. Good stick. Real quick leg kick. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Oh, nice. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well time needed the body. Gazalia gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, big head kick. Oh, overhand to the dome. Just misses with the jab. Another clinch position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Kick to the body is there. What a punch. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 30 seconds to go here. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to dance. Good. The ref wants to stop this fight. I need you to show something to protect yourself. Let's get this fight you ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Nice punch lands over the top. Kick to the body by Gadil. So he blocks the strike and now counters with it. Oh! It, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, DC, 